I see the traditional male role as being the provider and the, the, the strong silent type and the, the female as being the, the stay at home sort of mother, but I'm not saying I agree with those traditional roles. A traditional male role I see as the protector, provider, someone who brings security, someone who's meant to be aggressive, whether it be in sports or at work. A traditional female role I see as caring, nurturing, uh, stay at home, you know, someone who looks after the kids. I think these stereotypes impact me as a trans man in that there's sort of this expectation to be masculine, to make more money than a partner would to provide and to be more, more hyper-masculine than I would probably prefer to be myself. So I didn't come out as trans until I was 19 years old. So for 19 years of my life, I was identifying as and perceived as uh, a woman. And the difference I really notice now presenting masculinely is that I get a respect from, from strangers more. Doctors take me seriously. Um, people listen to me actively a lot more. I'm not interrupted. And I see a major problem with that. I think of hurtful uh, traits by males that, that, that affect, you know, not only women but other males as well. You know, destructive tendencies. The toxic masculinity to me, what I think of when I hear that, um, is someone who's not, af someone who's afraid to show emotion, someone who's insecure, someone who's uh, very aggressive and dominant. Well, that was, that's an interesting question because I was talking to Chris about this earlier and I was telling him that I don't really have any good examples in my life of toxic masculinity. And he pointed out the fact that I'm a male, I'm a big, tattooed, strong male, and other males give me a wide berth or they accept me. And w when I see something, uh, sort of some a behavior, like for example, there's, beha there's a person who acts in, 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 in a very, uh, a worrisome way and I think I just view his acts as be, him being an asshole but Chris pointed out his acts are actually toxic masculinity but because I'm a male and I don't I, I view the world through the prism of a male who's who's accepted by their males I, I just see things as, as as asshole behavior but in a lot of cases it's toxic masculinity toxic masculinity affects me as a trans man in that if I don't perform to these levels of hyper-masculineness, I'm not respected. And I think the way that it affects trans men in general is that if you aren't masculine enough, if you're not, you know, your voice doesn't drop deep enough, if you're not hairy, if you're not tall, that kind of thing um, is sort of the concept of passing as, as a cis man, which shouldn't be the goal um, the goal should be for you to be comfortable in your body. So, giving myself hormone injections is an act I take every week to present myself as more masculine. Being perceived by others affects how, how you feel about yourself and a lot, of, a lot of trans men, myself included, end up performing to a hyper-masculine degree in order to be accepted. My ideal vision of masculinity would be not feeling trapped uh, by um, having to act out certain um, way, like ways that are just masculine. I, I just want, like, yeah, just, you know, not being trapped by just this one way of acting. My ideal vision of masculinity um, I don't know to be to be to be strong but also be caring and compassionate and empathetic and and uh, um, to, 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 to view women as equals. I think my ideal vision of masculinity is letting people 
express themselves in a way that they're comfortable with, no matter how they identify. I think that we need to break down stereotypes of men and boys not being allowed to express their emotions because it ends up raising young boys into adults who don't know how to deal with strong emotions. I think that there's a lot of stuff that needs to be worked on <laughs> in that regard. Um, something I'd like to add would be uh, is the fact that I used to practice some of these toxic behaviors and um, you know it's like it's a day-to-day -day kind of battle with myself to not go into old patterns of toxic masculinity and to break away from that and um, I think that uh, toxic masculinity still lingers in me and I have to daily correct it by doing good actions and speaking good words and you know, just being a better overall human being and constantly exposing myself to media that isn't uh, completely negative or puts you in a negative headspace or trap you in some sort of stereotypical way of acting. I no longer search for my identity in those things anymore. I try to look within myself for an identity.